Is that your intro? <laughs> How are you? What's going on? Welcome. Yeah, yeah. What's going on, brother? Welcome, welcome. welcome. Join us. It's the uh, podcast, and then it's the uh, mic. We have a drink, hang out. Okay. Cool. Welcome to another episode of People's Bike Podcast. I am Jimmy Peoples. This is the one and only Mr. Dane Mother Effin Rothenberg. Ever since I killed those other Dane Rothenbergs. <laughs> What's up? How's it going? How you doing? I'm good. Good. I'm out. How many yeah. guitars do you have? I own three now. You own three guitars? I own three guitars now. Right. I'm pretty pretty stupid about how I bought my last yeah. one. Yeah. I um. <laughs> what? I uh. Well. I started playing guitar when I was like 12 years old, really? like everyone else, and uh... Not everyone, I'll tell you. Go okay, ahead. well, true. No, go, go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so when I, uh, I owned two guitars from then on, I yeah. had always had a, an electric guitar, uh-huh. like a cheapo uh, Stratocaster knockoff like I have right now, yeah. and uh, my dad bought me one year when I went to sleepaway camp, mm-hmm. He bought me an acoustic guitar because yeah. he was like, "You're gonna, you're gonna want to like uh, play around the campfire. You're 13 now. You're a man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, no, you're gonna pick up girls. You're gonna need this at parties, son. <laughs> Everyone appreciates the guy with the guitar every time. That's how it starts. <laughs> a son is given a guitar by his father." <laughs> And then I went to college and I sold them all to do drugs. Nice. I sold all of them to do drugs. Nice. So they're pretty valuable guitars. Nice. You and can you like can get really, rid of them. Yeah. But he would not, never let me sell the acoustic because honestly that was his. Yeah. Um, so that was just sitting in my room for a few years. Wow. Um, Damn. I, um, I, I wanted to play the guitar and then my mother used to take me to these guitar classes and um, but the, the instructor always used to hit on her, so oh. I quit. Oh, yeah, fuck that. So I quit. Ugh. So I was like, fuck the guitar, fuck this guy. Fuck guitar players. Fuck guitar players. This. And then. I now, actually have a joke in my set. Like, is, is it a rule that to work at a guitar store, you have to be a complete fucking douchebag? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. I actually uh, I bought a ukulele. Those are fun. I love ukulele. I bought a black ukulele, and the guy laughed at me. I was like, how are you going to sell this to me? And then fucking heckled me. He was like, he was like you want a ukulele? I was like, <laughs> I was a little bigger. I was asking. What a piece of shit. Yeah, I was like, just sell me the fucking ukulele. It's, it's already super expensive. For all he knows, you can be Dwayne the Rock Johnson, doing your nap, doing your Samoan duties. He sees it with the All I know is Dwayne the Rock Johnson plays the ukulele. Plays the ukulele. Yeah, he's really good there's, at there's it. A, there's a couple of ukulele. Not a lot of black ukulele guys. There's a guy on a. On there's a, a lot of black guitarists in general. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of jazz. What um, you're a comedian, right? Yes. What made you uh transfer from music to comedy? Um, transfer or <laughs> you use music in your comedies? I do, I do. I um, I actually started out honestly because I used. I have a weird story. Um, yeah. I went to music school and I was not a musician. I was honestly just a drug addict, and. Uh, I hope your listeners are, don't get bored of this progression. No, do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> it's how I force others to listen to my guitar practice. <laughs> I, uh, I went to music school, uh, just doing drugs, honestly. That's where I sold all the guitars. And uh, uh, making friends, getting into comedy outside of that. I would, I have these buddies who just like produce music and like I'm the funny one out of them. So like as they become more successful in their lives and like move to California and want to do work for money, you know what I mean? I'm going to need a way to be musical, my, like like support myself musically and not like force a friend to uh, yeah. to re-record um, a make damn sure for me. Uh-huh. <laughs> now I have to learn that myself, and I am learning make damn sure. So you're just relearning how to play. 
Ja. Yeah. Ja. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nou, as you should. As you should. You, you fucking young. Rock that shit out. Fine. On, on, uh, I, I, <laughs> Drugs. <laughs> Honestly, no, I really want to like spend all my money on like guitar pedals and like yeah. a super nice guitar uh-huh. and just come up on stage and just be like, what's up? And then not play. <laughs> <laughs> and just put on a ton of pedals so it algor- algorithms uh, yeah. algorithmizes into uh-huh. like. Yeah, just noise. <laughs> just noise. And I'm like, Tom York. <laughs> Damn. Honestly, I think there's a market for it. Yeah, yeah. There's a market for anything. You just keep doing. It. Like if you keep doing it, it's like he's the guy that does the shit, and they just listen to it. <laughs> um, what? what? <laughs> Give me your best podcast episode yet. Oh, uh, this is it. This is it. I'm trying to keep up with you. <laughs> Uh, with uh, because my all my regular questions don't work with Dame Lovato. So, really, what are your regular uh, questions? Uh, what I ask, uh, uh, what, how do you feel about America? <laughs> Honestly, I don't think I'm allowed to have. I don't think I'm allowed to have an opinion. I've, I've on never America. seen you angry. I have it way too like, easy. I have it way too easy. I've never seen you angry. Like I've seen you float through the through. <laughs> this is honestly, uh, yeah. I, I'm not allowed to have an opinion on the world. For America. And uh, it doesn't. I don't work as hard as other people do. Honestly, <laughs> I, 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 my life is pretty fucking easy. When you, when you wake up in the morning, what, what, what pisses you off? Just in general. What do you say? Holy oh, shit. I, uh, it's, a, it's an internal thing. I wake up at 5 a.m. Really? And, yeah, yeah. Why do you wake up that early? It's not you a choice. nothing to do. <laughs> yeah, I don't have anything to do. I wake up at 5 a.m. and I'm pissed. My girlfriend is a normal person and waits for like two hours before her job starts. Oh, shit. Before she wakes up. Yeah. So now I'm just up, and What's I have to like. She works for my sister right now. Uh, your girlfriend packing. works for your sister. Yeah. Is that how you met? No. Oh no. shit. That's honestly my uh, sister. Uh, 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 met because we already did a little bit of work for her. Like yeah. she had a bunch of greeting cards in the mm-hmm. house, and like we didn't have anything to do for a day. So uh-huh. like, fuck it, right? You know. Yeah. So your sister started working. Your girlfriend started working for your sister. So what happens if it doesn't work out? I've talked to her about this. And, Does she um, still work? If I'm the one to break up with her, she uh-huh. gets to keep her job. But if she's the one to break up with me, um, nice. um, I don't fucking know anymore. <laughs> if she breaks up with you, she still keeps the job. It's up to I her. I know, right? <laughs> right? Unless your sister hates her, but your sister obviously likes her. She's a good employee, that's why. Oh. She's, she's valuable. <laughs> she puts work in. <laughs> She's, she's harder working than me, and that makes me feel like a piece of shit. Because yeah. right now I'm playing hooky for my real job. Yeah. What do, where do you work besides? I work for my father, wow. uh, delivering uh, plumbing supplies. That's adorable. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, uh, conversations with my boss. It's just like, yeah. yes, yes, sir. Thank you. Thank. I, I love you, sir. Yes. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you. I love you. What, what's your, uh, and, and so how did you get into comedy? What was that I first day like? To. I um, well, there's this guy I knew in college who mm-hmm. I won't, I'm not gonna say his name because I'm not gonna give him uh, mm-hmm. a publicity. Oh, even shit. though, if, does anyone watch this? No. Okay. No. So it was like Nick Costello. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck Nick. No, he's a fine guy. Is he a comic? He is. Um, he fucking um, I was talking to him at a party in college, and he was like, "Yeah, man, I just go to UCB on the weekends, and mm-hmm. you pay five dollars, and it's the shit, and I do these mics here and there, uh-huh. and all the shit." And I'm yeah. like, "If this fake motherfucker can do it, <laughs> what am I doing? You know what I mean? If this sack of shit." <laughs> so, and honestly, it took me a few years after that to even like uh, break the ice. That I did. Um, I did a uh, fucking. Um, Creek and Cave, yeah. uh, my first time ever doing a, uh-huh. a mic, mm-hmm. and it was terrifying, and I went on last, and no one laughed, and I only went on for like five seconds. Yeah. Um, and I didn't do stand-up again for like a year after that. Really? Yeah. I kind of, yeah. I quit comedy old, many how times. How old was it? I was 22. This was like a few years ago. A few I'm 25 years now. now. Okay. So I know I've known you for over two, over a year or two, right? A few years now. Yeah, yeah. you've known me pretty much my years. entire time I've been <laughs> doing stand-up. Yeah. J- Jimmy, you booked me on my first show. Did I? You did. Shut the fuck up. Wow. That's dope. <laughs> 
Fucking, yeah. Um, yeah. And then um, I went through UCB. Yeah. I went did you all do the way improv? through. Did you do it? I did improv. I started out improv. Really? And I was terrible at it. Yeah. And all those kids. Really? Yeah. I didn't see that. I'm really bad at improv. <laughs> So I get really like in my head, and I'm like trying to like make it funny immediately. Absolutely, it's so much easier when you're there alone on mm -hmm. stage, and you control a hundred percent. If it fails, okay, I wanted it to fail. Wow. You know what I mean? Comedy is easier than improv. A lot, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's way easier to get up alone okay. and fail than it is to to like to have to explain to a, a person comics, on stage. A lot of comics would agree with you. They would disagree. Yeah. They say it's easier to do it with other people. Really? Yeah. What happens when it goes poorly? I don't and you know. have to explain to those other know. people on stage. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, I there's always everything. somebody else to blame. Like, yeah. You're you're there and you bomb. It's your fucking fault. I, this is the problem I have in all arguments all the time. <clears throat> I'm always willing to lose yeah. the argument. So the second someone like oh, yeah, becomes bigger than me, yeah. it's just like hey, I'm a piece of shit. I'm sorry. Hmm. Yeah. No. Like, I'll, I'll I'll easily say yeah you're right and walk away. Because <laughs> it because it an argument with me either ends as soon as the other person raises the voice I get physical so there's no there's no there's no happy medium. <laughs> let's discuss this no somebody's getting thrown through a wall so fuck I'll walk away before I have to make you an art uh, that's, that's a terrifying <laughs> sentence oh, <sorry. laughs> so there's no arguing Jimmy doesn't argue that's the name of this episode. We don't she doesn't argue. She doesn't argue. <laughs> Straight to fist. Yeah, fist to, yeah, or, yeah, one fist. <laughs> I, can, I just imagine you, like, getting into a small fender bender, uh, and the other guy's like, Ah, oh, fuck! Let me see your insurance! And you, you just, like, you're just fucking wrecking. No, no, no. I, um, I'll, 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 it's, as long as he's, he or she, as long as he's calm, I'm calm. Mm. But I've only had one incident where where it escalated. And, and, uh, you had to kill him. And, no, <laughs> <laughs> we're on camera. No, I didn't kill him. Of course, I didn't kill him. The also the only reason you didn't kill him is because we're on camera. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I'm the worst podcast guest. No, you're good. You're fucking awesome. <laughs> Jimmy uh, had other people booked, and um, I'm filling in, and he did not see my other podcast appearances. I, do, do I curse out people who, who, who cancel? Do, do you curse them out? What do I do? What, 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 what should be the, the consequences of repercussions when people cancel? I could tell a funny story about Rishi. Yeah. Okay. And Rachel Joan. <laughs> Rachel Joan. Both. I don't know if I have a funny story about Rachel yeah. Joan. <laughs> I think I was hosting a mic once, and... Uh, she introduced a guy, and the first thing he said was, Rachel, uh, you're so hot, something something. You said it? No. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, and she was a lot less creeped out than I thought she would be. Really? So um, I guess that Did works. She, she didn't know you? Um, know you? I, don't, I don't know if she knows me now. Really? I'm a terrible person. That, I, I thought you should I'm know kind you. of half remembering a story that probably didn't even happen. I just was. <laughs> I think they were good friends. Can, can you uh, can you improv a shitty song about Rishi right now? Okay. Because you wouldn't wear a suit. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what you get, Rishi Mather, for canceling on me last minute. We're going to just write songs about you from here on out. What's up, sir? You all right? Oh, you got back here doing something? Yeah, doing the podcast. You can hang out. Come on in. Hang out, sit down, talk, chop it up. Just, Signing up yet? No, nah, not yet. At 3 o'clock. I'm talking just about there. a friend of mine to the tune of La Bamba. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's your... Uh, what, what did your... Uh, What's your favorite sound? 
My favorite sound? Yeah. What the fuck kind of question is that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, ask. sometimes I'm just out in the world and I hear an A, a note, and I'm just like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Is that it? Oh, <laughs> that tone. Oh, my God. I just start jizzing. <laughs> favorite sound yeah i don't know man i my favorite um i like to hear things about myself uh, i'm pretty narcissistic like that. yeah i like to hear people talk i like to people talking shit about me i like to hear people think about me yeah. honestly I, I do like that i do like yeah. that very much yeah. i just i just want to know i'm thought about like just you, you ever yeah. walk into a bathroom while somebody was talking shit about you oh no like one day I, I pray god one day <laughs> hopefully <laughs> I used to, uh, sometimes, I don't know if this is weird or not, I used to tape, um, like if I go on a first date with a girl, mm. and it, this is one of, I used to say this, and uh, I used to just leave my phone on and record the first date, just so I can listen to it back. Is that weird? Yes. Is that weird? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, it's like game tape, I'm an athlete. I was like, I'll, if I'm, so to make it better, I'll listen to it back, <laughs> and then see the shit that we do wrong. You've never listened to a date? No, um, never. <laughs> that's, no, no, that's smart because you're gonna improve yourself on your next job interview, and, and you're like your boss might see that one day and yeah. be like, "Oh, he cared a lot immediately." Yeah. But like, if you get into a relationship with this girl, oh, and like way it. down the line, oh, you're gonna be oh, like, "Oh, oh no, no, what did you say? Wait, no, 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 you said you, oh, you love to go Dutch." <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I always forget. To take, did it stop? It probably stopped. What'd that say? Can you see that from here? Here, let me. Ah, I touch it. This is why I have the little lamp that to walk with me. Oh, I have a little battery. This is this drains yeah. all my battery. What? Does it? Oh yeah. Oh, that sucks. I'm posting to the internet immediately. Oh jeez. Well, yeah. Get to me. See if we can make it. Oh wow, this goes by a lot quicker than I thought it would. Yeah, we're here. Well, I'm fun. What um? What's your favorite sound during sex? Coming? Did you listen to your own come? No, like she, she, her, her coming. Her coming. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it'd be, it'd be, it would be great if that happened more. <laughs> it doesn't happen. Anybody else have trouble uh, continuing sex after you came? Right? What do you do? <laughs> you just rub it out. You let it, you know, take a break and then you come back. You fall asleep, don't you? Are you a sleeper? Um, <laughs> well, one, yes. Uh, <laughs> um, and two, I, um, I don't know. I, I don't know. I feel like my my generation has a lot of weird sex stuff. Yeah. Because of porn. And like, How old are you guys? 32. 37, 32, 30s, 30s? I feel 25. like you guys won't relate to me. How old are you? 25. Hey, I'll take that. That, that, that end, man, go fuck yourself. That's, that's how... Uh, <laughs> he's like, go fuck yourself, you young bitch. You don't have any responsibilities. <laughs> I don't have responsibility. No. This is pretty good, I can tell. <laughs> I'll just let you go. <laughs> I don't know what to do with you. I'm sorry, Jimmy. Yeah. Oh, boy. I am. Um, been watching a lot of reality television. Hey, what are you watching? I've been watching a lot of Flavor of Love. Really? Yeah. Do you remember Flavor of Love? Flavor of Love? Flavor of Love? With Flavor of Love. The reruns? Or is uh, it back on? No, I'm watching it on the internet. Oh, shit. Is that your favorite show? It's the best show ever because he refuses to learn any of these women's names. Oh, play, play, play yeah. asshole. You pumpkin, you big butt, you... <laughs> and he renamed them, right? That's when he gave them names? Yeah. <laughs> I want, I... He fucking, in the second season, because, okay, in the first season, do you remember New York? Yeah, I remember New York. New York, okay, so she was like the villain of the first season. Yeah, I remember that. Okay, she was like making everyone, every other girl's life a fucking nightmare, and she would be standoffish. Every chance she got, she would be no one's friend purposefully from the start, mean, out of her ass, but she made it to the very last uh, yeah. uh, And she won, thing. right? No, 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 no. she, she didn't lose. She made it to the very last stage and she lost. And they brought him on uh, next season mm -hmm. as just like, uh, like on one episode just to, just to judge the new girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to like, 
Uh, you guys remember New York? New uh-huh. York's back for this episode. And at the end of that episode, he's like, I'm going to throw a, a wrench in the tire. New York, New York, you're back for this season. You're a contestant again. Wow. Yeah, she went all the way to the end two times. Failed twice. <laughs> what? What was the point of the show? Just so to get Flavor Flav late. It did. It worked. Twice. It worked so many. They show it on camera. Wow. Do you guys watch Flavor of Love? Yeah, yeah. Do you guys remember he would fuck on camera? It's a long time ago. It's topical again. It's topical. It is 10 years old, but I'm going to make Flavor for Flav happen again. Were you in middle school? I was in middle school. (laughs) I was in middle school, and I would watch that every day after school. What? I've only seen maybe two episodes, and I couldn't watch them. I couldn't watch Flavor for Flav. I watched Kardashians from the beginning. the, the Brett Michaels one. Rock of Love. Rock Fuck of yes. Love. Fuck, that was, that's, what I, that's what I started that on. I, we were looking for a uh, uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show, and that just, just search Rock, it came up with Rock of Love. Okay, I guess this is what we're doing now. That's it. It's number one. Wow. You know no, he kicked off I could not watch uh, five of those girls? Big John, his uh, bouncer, yeah. before any of them met him? Big John kicks off Five of them before Brad they Michaels. even before they Flavor even meet Fred Michaels. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then one of them comes back and she's like, "I am Tiffany. You know how drunk I am. <laughs> Brett Michaels needs to meet me." And then they let her on for like three more episodes. <laughs> she didn't have a place to sleep. How she many, slept on the couch. How many of them did he sleep with? Oh man, Brad. Did they should. Michael. Okay, he slept with. Okay, he had an orgy early on with really? three of them. Yeah. Nice. Um. He, I watched um, just for I'm gonna say five. Wow. I'm gonna say he slept with two more after that, conservatively. Reality TV. But, I, th- I feel like reality TV is getting replaced by YouTube. Sure. Is it? By sure, YouTube? sure. But I like TV as a whole. Oh, I watch YouTube. Uh, do you put, do you post? <laughs> no, oh fuck! I like if I have a good stand-up set, I'll post that out. Really? You know what but I mean? You all just talk about your day. No. I want to start doing, I want to do um, my Chemical Romance covers on YouTube. Yeah. Just because they're fun. And do it. I don't even know, play it right now. You want to hear a My Chemical Romance song? (laughs) Okay. You didn't do the song. You I'm not gonna do the whole song. Is that words? Those were the words. That's it. You got. You kind of have to scream it. Oh. Shit. If you guys were 14, I swear to God, <laughs> you guys would be like, you, you guys would be straight I'm up. To, my I'm trying friends. to get my viewer base up, so we're, we're gonna we're gonna yeah. we're gonna hashtag it and yeah. If you like, put like stickers up like the people's to- mic at a hot topic. <laughs> my, those are my people. They'll love me. <laughs> I just gotta get that emo audience. I'm. Emo? What? Em- emotional. Is that what that stands That's for? That's what that stands for. Did you know that black guy? What was your, emo, what's your name? Emo Kevin. Emo Kevin. Shut the fuck up. No, no, no. My your name is Kevin. Emo Kevin? <laughs> I was like, no, it's not. <laughs> is, that, is that the Emo Kevin? <laughs> Did we just become really good friends? <laughs> uh, I mean, I heard Emo, but I didn't know. What's up, what's up, what's up? I didn't know that. I, he's, hell no, there's no sign of this. Not until 3 o'clock. This is a podcast, you asshole. Oh, <laughs> I, I don't know how we're going to remember all four of these names. <laughs> what order did we come in? They, Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> um, 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 what Sorry. Did, what did, <laughs> um, you want to do another song and then we'll roll you out? Okay. Do you guys mm-hmm. like Spongebob? Sure. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> I thought that I had everybody on my side, but I went and blew it. All sky high. Now she won't even spare a passing glance. All because I went and ripped my pants. When Big Larry came round just to put him down, SpongeBob turned into a clown. No girl ever wants to dance with the fool who went and ripped his pants. I know I should have mopped her and I shouldn't curse, but the pain feels so much. 
not the SpongeBob song. That is not that's the a, SpongeBob that's a song. song. That is from a the movie. SpongeBob song. <laughs> that's from like the first season of the show. Fuck. What the fuck? These are not my people, clearly. Yeah. How old are you, Pat? 36. 36? No. Yeah, uh, I, I mean, maybe it, he watched SpongeBob uh, with his net niece one day when uh, he, he was babysitting. It, it, these are not my people. This is a, uh, 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 what would you call it? 34, is that middle age? That, what is that? Uh, Generation Y, I think. Generation what Y? Sociologists would say. I, yeah. I don't believe in the whole this, this, all this generations. Is, I don't know if there's any real difference in the people. Well, my, I, I'm actually kind of proud. Or, I, I like the fact that I was born, like I began my journey through pop culture without the internet, and then the internet came to be while I was conscious of it. Totally. Uh, and like the next, the following generation which just grew into the internet, you know? And I think there's something yeah. interesting about that. They grew with it, right? Yeah, like mm-hmm. when they start reading or consuming, they were yeah. consuming on the internet. Wow. Uh, which I think is a very surf specific demarcation. You know? That's a good word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you want to come up here? You got some you, good you, words, yeah. buddy. You got some good words. <laughs> <laughs> we fucking. Uh, I, I was so lucky uh, to growing up just immediately have internet porn, and the second I got you didn't tired of commercials, you didn't, yeah, yeah, yeah. The second I'm tired of commercials, waiting, waiting for that shit. Oh god, like, uh, off the screen for like uh, literally one day. I remember, I remember you, there, there's no fear like getting your uh, VHS tape stuck <laughs> in your friend's VCR. <laughs> And you got to figure out a way. We took a, apart the whole VCR just to get the tape out. Yeah, but none of you ever had, oh, hey, Dad, let me go on your laptop for a minute. Oh, that's that's Dad's porn. <laughs> Dad likes teens. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I don't know what's worse. I'd, I'd, I'd oh, write... you grew up on the internet. Everything must have been so easy. You, ne- you never had to, like, beg a girl for sex. <laughs> you had to steal a penthouse from the, from the local bodega. You ever do that? You never ruined the family computer with porn by accident? Uh, you never yeah. accidentally downloaded a, a porn virus to the family computer? Now the whole family has to come in on Dane's habit? <laughs> I think it's harder now. I think you guys, you know what? I'm not going to say fuck. Harder uh, now or harder back then? Uh, it's different. Different? It's different. It's too much now. I yeah. tell you what, I'm yeah. harder now. You, wait, you have, wait, you have, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm harder now. <laughs> <laughs> It's way too Only boys in this room. Ah, oh, jeez. Boys. <laughs> you guys have to leave. New rule: you can't come to this mic unless you have a female with you. Good luck, Good luck with that. That is the that is the least creepy uh, uh, is policy that, is that? I've ever heard. <laughs> Eddie, Eddie, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Is there a female? Is there a female mic? Sure. Going on, I know ever. There are female mics. There's ever. the UCB mic, uh, the female like right only now, mic. Right now, right now, right now. Fuck. Yeah. It's Monday. Yeah. See, so they're just not getting on stage right now. It's also three. Yeah, they're working. They have real jobs. Yeah, they're. Yeah. They're up to that's, the that's a, Yeah, that's why. That's why they do way better. Us. Yeah. But. Boys do better in comedy because we do it earlier. We Is that peak what you're later, you guys. We, we peak later. later. <laughs> oh, I spaced out for a second. Like most. I shouldn't do yeah. that as a yeah. guest. Welcome back. Hi. <laughs> where uh, where can they find you online? Online, uh, Dane Demi Lovato Rothenberg. You guys got any questions? Demi Lovato. Dane, you want to ask any word? questions? Dane or Dane? Dane. With an N. With an N, like Dane Cook. Uh, Dane what town in Long Island did you grow up? Oh, Jericho. And yeah, yeah. Where, were you, where were you when uh, uh, what is that band uh, that album Tell Your Friends came out Tell All Your Friends new, uh, is that Taking Back Sunday yeah, yeah. oh what I was you? young I was in elementary school that was huge though and did it affect you yes <laughs> deeply but it, it, <laughs> I, we've never met before right but no. I knew Long Island and I knew Taking Back Sunday was this is one. really creepy I was about to ask did I say Long Island a second ago <laughs> no, this is super no. creepy How'd, how'd you know that? I went to post college, and I was in college when Seriously? when that album came out, and uh, I know the type. I, <laughs> the type. <laughs> I live by CW Post. <laughs> I was literally around the corner from my house. There's more of this. <laughs> um, yeah. the same time. More of me wow. Every day Holy <laughs> shit! That's incredible. And how many bands are you in at the moment? 
honestly want to. Me and my friend Doug Brady have a project. Of me, Dane Rothenberg and Doug Brady are lovers. Nice. Yeah. But you're what, like so 23 have, or something? 25. And you've probably been in 20 bands? No, I, actually, I started playing guitar a few months ago because oh, okay. uh, I, I stopped doing stand up for a little bit. I was doing so much uh, drugs with my girlfriend. Um, I just like, I, I, like, I wanted to do something and I had this guitar, so like, fuck it, right? Um, actually, a, a funny story. Um, I learned uh, finger picking over the course of like 12 hours one day when I took a bunch of acid, and I found out that when you finger pick, most of your brain energy is in your right hand. So your left hand can kind of camp out all day on the G chord. So all day for 12 hours, I was literally this, while I figured out like patterns to make with this guy. Um, and my poor girlfriend had to listen to me for 12 hours on the G chord, un unrelentingly on the G chord. And you're right, I will not let her forget she cheated seven years ago. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I thought you learned how to finger pick by your girlfriend. Um, that would have been a better story. A yeah, I was, I was yeah, like, yeah, well, you well yeah. maybe you can, okay, I can see that. But no, you you, you made it, you took a left. Oh, uh, <laughs> man, because nothing girls love more than long fingernails <laughs> and, like, phonetic motion. <laughs> fingernails, man. That's I, learned how, I, learned, I learned how to play the ukulele by fingering my ex-girlfriend. I was like, yo, she had such a tiny vagina, and then the ukuleles are so tiny, and then you... <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Thank it's you. Like the same exact voice just now. <laughs> uh, that made me all warm inside. <laughs> but yeah, you need, maybe you need some glasses. Maybe like the thick. I glass honestly glasses. do need glasses. There you go. I'm yeah, gonna, yeah. It's just the ambiguous sexuality. Yeah, that's what it is. And the, the collar shirt and the sweater. <laughs> it's like he's gay, yeah, but he does fuck with. <laughs> he hasn't come out to himself yet. Like. <laughs> That's what the drugs are for. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't understand Wolf coming I. out and just being like, I have one thing forever. I only like this thing. That's it. Yeah. I am never going to be surprised ever, even by myself. I think white guys are just naturally gay, right? They, yeah. They just, like, like, if you kiss the guy, it's, it's not gay. It's just, well, I'm already gay. So I'm really well, you're gay. gay. No, no, See? kissing dudes, that's the gay part. You know? Is it? Yeah, no, but actually, everybody, I feel like mo the majority of straight dudes, too, beyond what you think, they all like more dicks in their porn than you'd think, and that is... They I like have, more dicks, or they I tolerate access, more dicks? I have access to, like, one of the admins of Pornhub's, like, account, and you just, like, can look at the history of what everybody's watched. It's mostly just lots of dudes on one girl. And that's not what I'm into. But that yeah. is it sounds yeah. awesome. I was talking to somebody about that the other day. The majority yeah. of it. You were talking to somebody about uh, porn? About, about, yeah. About, uh, I like, and it's weird. I like porn. I do like porn. Like, I like the Cinemax softcore porn. I, every time some good uh, cinema. With like, a backstory. With yeah, a, yeah. Like a little yeah, story to lead into. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like the real, sometimes like I like it when they get like a, sometimes it's like that like real like amateur situation that they're trying to like make super realistic, but it's uh -huh. like no, the acting is so just too bad right now. Yeah, like you I, can't even pretend yeah. right now. I like, I like good porn it. with good acting. Yes. Uh, that's, that's hard to find. That's, that that's is really hard, hard to find. It's so true. Yeah. Yeah. The act, that's, no, that's tough. Yeah. But, but, but to get back to gay, but gay people, I honestly think more people would be gay if it wasn't like this social thing. If it was just they like, hey, are you just like really good friends with this dude? Like to like the point where you want to like fuck his face? You know what I mean? Like, uh, uh, I think people are getting more to that uh, point. But honestly, for me growing up, like I never, honestly, being like, like actually like fucking a dude and like making out with a guy was less scary than like, Having people see view me as like, you know what I mean? Exactly what they I, think I, of. I feel I feel like people like society just likes to dramatize the line well, between like gay and straight. It's it, like with like, every category, there's another binary. You know what I mean? Yeah. Even now, this whole thing with like being non-binary, it's either you're binary or you're non-binary. A, a lot of these uh, uh, like, uh, social justice groups are eating themselves alive with like, I'm not, I'm, I, I need you to be fully accepting of my special uh, thing, but I'm not going to uh, put the time in. 
to make the space for yours. You know, it's, it's a very, everyone's kind of, but then that's also the whole thing too, like, it used to be that in the original Roman and Greek societies, like, all the men just, like, fucked, it was like Orgy City and everyone just fucked everyone. It was, like, viewed as manly that I could, like, overpower yeah. this but dude then, with my dick. But then as you get older, and now that's, like, then as civilization moved on, like, and now it's still a big problem in America. The whole, like... Because some people, yeah. The whole, like, apparently in Hollywood right now, it's a bigger problem than ever. The, like, kids thing. Like, this. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I hate yeah. to say the word, like, the pedophile. Yeah. It's like a really. That's, like, been, that's been going on for. For, for years. Yeah. But, you know, oh, no, like, but he's gay. It's all right. I know, right? Because <laughs> in, <British, laughs> in British television, they're always. And I love his show. It. I love his show. Oh, I mean, God. Are you kidding me? Like, you can't just. <laughs> The guy who created all that now apparently yeah. is like a big bad guy. Like the guy who created all I buy that, it. I buy it. Keenan Cal, like Carly, Amanda Show, the big fat guy in kids' television. Yeah. Who could have thought? No, that's like the creepiest thing ever. Like, what's yeah. that pitch meeting? Like, no, oh, you true. know what? Kids don't have like a real, like a sexy he's, sketch he's, comedy show. These, these guy. guys that like to watch other people, no wonder they're creeps. Like, who's. It's, it's like, that's their job. It's a bad situation. And then look at us having a. Creepcast. Creepcast. Creepcast? That's, that's the name of this episode. Uh... Voice, 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 voice. Talk about the covered face fucking voice. Face fucking voice. That's really published this. Jeez. Why aren't there women here? Uh, they, they, uh, some, some, I don't know. They, they'll, they'll be here in a minute. They, they yeah. signed up. They, I saw one. I saw one outside. Yeah. Like so, on the street? Uh, I saw a lady on the street. Where, uh, <laughs> where, where can they find you online? <laughs> oh, I'm on uh, Facebook. You can Facebook? Yeah. Dane Lovato? Dane Demi Lovato Rothenberg. Yep. I barely post anything anymore. Uh, Twitter? Uh, Twitter? Uh, Dane Rothenberg? Honestly, I don't post anything. You guys, uh, uh, 516-312-1617. You can call me. That's uh, your, call me your, your, is that your that's real phone number? That's my phone number. 516-312-1617. Text and stalk Dane. You can text me. You can call me. I, I'm available for parties. Yeah, website? How far no. do you see yourself going in comedy? Oh. Yeah. Whew. I might With die no one day. Nope. You <laughs> might die. That'll make you. <laughs> That's it. All right. Give it up. Give it up for. Uh, I'm gonna be the best. Let me fucking die. <laughs> give it up for Dane Rotherberg. Hey. Uh, this is another episode of the People's Mike Podcast. Thank you guys for hanging out. Uh, you can find us on SoundTune, SoundTune, SoundCloud, SoundTube. iTunes, uh, Google Plus. Uh, Blog Talk Radio and YouTube. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with another guest. Thank you. Keep it up for yourselves one more time. Woo!